hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be doing a quick unboxing and some solar testing with this awesome thunderbolt solar 100 watt foldable solar panel briefcase right after this if you are new to my channel and would like to stay up to date with the latest tips and tricks for amazon fire devices and product reviews then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon for future notifications thank you so much so i just recently purchased this awesome 100 watt foldable solar panel briefcase which is sold at all harbor harbor freight stores this is their brand it's called the thunderbolt thunderbolt solar if you're not familiar familiar with it be honest with you i haven't even opened this case uh, this solar panel yet it's still sealed on the side of the box as you can see on both sides so we are gonna go with uh we're gonna see what it's all about now on the front of the box it says on the starting from the left it says ideal for outdoor and recreation uh, this is made from a mono crystalline panel it's basically made out of uh, it's basically 250 watt solar panels put together it's made out of tempered glass it's easy to carry easy setup built-in kickstand which i'll show you guys here in a minute once i open the box and what's very important is that it says that this has an adapter which is basically called the sae to eight millimeter dc cable for jackery and other portable power stations and i will talk talk a little bit more in detail here in just a minute once i open the box and explain that a little bit more why that's so important what which adapter you need for for which power stations so let's look on the back of the box. All right, so looking at the back of the box, this says that it's lightweight and portable at 15 pounds. Weight-wise, it's not too bad, to be honest. It has an ASC connector included. It's virtually maintenance-free, and it's got a built-in kickstand. It also comes with a canvas bag for easy carrying. I can't wait to see what that actually feels like and the quality. And this also has uh, high-efficiency monarch crystalline solar cells. It produces on average 31 amp hours uh, or 500 watt hours per day which should be interesting um, it says it's rugged and durable for long-term outdoor use and it's also uh, coated with tempered glass so and by the way this is a non-sponsored video so I'm gonna I'm gonna give my honest opinion about this 100 watts folding solar panel from Harbor Freight because they do bring some interesting good quality products a lot of times for about half the price or maybe a little bit more compared to other big brand companies out there so let's go ahead and see what's inside the box this comes with a canvas carry bag included and this is actually an interesting canvas bag this is exactly what it looks like once I take it out of the box one thing I like one thing one thing that I noticed to be honest is that the handle that's built in the handle is actually built onto the solar panel and not the case if it was the, if the handle was built on the case i think over time this would wear out and probably rip or and whatnot or get damaged so i like the fact that this is actually on the the handle is actually built as part of the solar panel and not, not the canvas case and this case does zip you just need to zip it or unzip it you'd have to guys excuse me today it's a bit windy out here so but i am doing my best on the hopefully this audio comes in very nice and clear so i'm gonna go ahead and unzip this and i was hoping that this canvas case was a little bit more heavy duty but i guess at least it comes with a, a case because it is a, a 100 watt folding solar suitcase unlike a lot of other solar panels which do not come with any type of case so let me go ahead and open this all right so inside the canvas bag that's included with this 100 watt solar panel you get this nice uh, full-size thunderbolt 100 watt foldable solar panel briefcase this is like a owner's manual and safety instructions i'll just show you a brief look at it it's about it seems like it's four or five pages uh, it's very straightforward it's telling you the description the part number and how you basically that's the sae connector looking at the solar panel itself honestly at first impression i think this uh this solar panel is very rugged i mean <clears throat> i like the fact that i'm trying not to scratch my car here right so or the solar panel itself but this thing is really built rugged it's actually better than what i expected you can see that the solar panel has these built-in latches that lock and unlock so I'm going to go ahead, actually, I'm going to lock this back on. And here's the back side. Kind of hard to do this with one, with one hand, right? But I think we will manage. So this is the back side or the front side. 
really there's no actually that's the front side but once you once you unfold the solar panel but the build quality seems to be very nice and sturdy i can see this lasting for years no problem all right and now that i have unfolded it this is what the solar panel looks like it's actually lighter than i expected to be honest coming in at 15 pounds which is really not too bad for a rugged 100 watt folding solar suitcase because i believe they do get more a little bit more on the heavier side if i'm not mistaken but i but overall quality the quality of the solar panel seems to be built very well i like these orange uh protectors i guess you can call them and they are in every single corner on the top on the bottom and even including in the center as well as you can see up here down here bottom right and the top right and on the back you can see that this has built in a very solid built-in kickstand you can see that from here that each 50 watt solar panel because they're basically two 50 watt solar panels put together or bolted together i should say which they have like a folding mechanism in the in the in the, in the center there and you can see that the junction box is actually right there there's one there and there's one right here each solar panel has its own junction junction box uh these built in black made out of metal i'm pretty sure this is either metal or steel that they're not aluminum uh, these are very sturdy uh, kickstands which they basically fold out and this gives this the the 100 watt solar panel suitcase a very nice uh, sturdy and it's about it's actually a windy day today to be honest and i would say it's about maybe eight to ten miles per hour winds right now and this solar panel ain't going nowhere unless it's like 30 or 40 or 50 uh, miles per hour on the winds and speaking of the back of the solar panel you can see that here it comes with this it seems like it's about a six or seven or maybe eight foot uh, SAE connector which the cable is coming out of the out of the junction box right here on the right hand side and it's connected to this um, SAE solar connector right here which is connected to this adapter is what they mentioned in the in front of the box and this is basically an eight millimeter eight millimeter DC adapter which plugs in and is compatible with all Jackery power stations last I checked it's actually proprietary to Jackery but might also fit other power stations what i'm gonna do is I'm, we're gonna go ahead and do some solar testing to see how well this 100 watt folding solar suitcase actually how much juice does it produce on a sunny day right now and as you can see here i'm gonna show you guys it's not the perfect day but it's uh, it's a bit cloudy but right now the sun is uh it's fully shining on my side so i'm gonna go ahead and plug this 100 watt folding solar panel suitcase into my echo flow river pro power station and let's see what kind of wattage we can get from there. All right, guys, I do want to explain one thing about this uh, charging adapter that it comes with the solar uh, solar suitcase. The thing is, is that, like I said here a moment ago, so this eight mil eight millimeter DC adapter only charges Jackery power stations, to my knowledge, as I do not have a Jackery power station, but I do have the popular brand. Echo Flow River Pro. This is a very popular brand and it's also app enabled, which is a very high tech power station, in my opinion. So, and the app is going to come very handy here when I show you proof how much wattage this 100 watt solar panel can produce. And with that being said, <clears throat> this 8 millimeter DC adapter does not work, is not compatible with the Echo Flow. Uh, power stations. I don't think it's it's uh, it's compatible with any of them to be honest. So what I have separately purchased is a I sep I purchased a separate uh, conver conversion adapter. I will also link this uh, this conversion cable, which comes very handy. I'm sure this will come handy for a lot of people, depending on what power station you have. So from here, you can see that on the bottom right here this converts if you plug in your so this you can plug in any eight millimeter dc cable into that on the bottom and here you can see that it converts the you can you can charge multiple power stations that way the yellow one is called the it's, the yellow one's called an xt60 connector and this is a dc connector on on the on the second one then we have the black and red anderson port and then we have a different very thin DC connecting DC charging connector as well so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug, go ahead and plug this adapter in and then I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into my echo flow river pro in order to charge this power station and we'll see what kind of stats we get 
on this nice sunny day. All right, so here you can see that I have the cable, the DC cable that comes out of the Thunderbolt solar panel, which has an, an, the eight millimeter adapter included as well. Make sure you get your adapter when you buy the solar panel and it's connected to my conversion adapter. Now, as you can see here, that now I am able to charge. It's funny, this looks like an octopus design, but this comes very handy, honestly. Now you are able to charge four different power stations. The one, the one that's compatible with the EchoFlow River Pro for sure, and probably other EchoFlow power stations is the XT60 yellow connector. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. And as you can see here, on the side of this power solar capable power station, I can only plug in the XT, XT60 connector, which is on the right hand side in yellow. And I can also charge the power station with a regular computer power cable on the left hand side. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. And you give the power station, power station here a moment. And as you can see, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but it's already getting 31 watts, 49 watts, 57 watts, 60, 62 watts. Now, the sun is, I'm actually, the solar panel is actually facing the sun right now. It's headed, it's, it's in that direction. We're at 63 watts. But I'm actually going to go ahead and show you the app that also that's also available with this EchoFlow uh, power, with all EchoFlow power stations, which comes very handy for monitoring and basically you monitor your power station through the app, which is very nice. So I'm going to I'm going to kind of log in and show you and share my screen with you here. So you can see here that I am actually connected to my EchoFlow River Pro. This is what the app looks like, and honestly, this application comes very very handy as a lot of power stations to my knowledge do not have an app to support them this not only has an app so you can update software and firmware to your power station but actually shows you live stats and other information which comes very handy in my opinion and this is the reason why i went with the echo flow river, river pro or any any other echo flow power station i know this video is not about echo flow power stations but this is the reason why i went with it and this echo flow river pro also supports up to 200 watts of solar input so this is very important because a lot of power stations especially the smaller ones they can barely handle 100 watts of solar input so this one handles up to 200 watts of solar input which this would be a fair test to harbor freight's new folding solar briefcase so you can see my current charging status my power station is at 71 percent and it's plugged in very closely to the power to the solar panel and as you can see here, once I click on the power station that I'm currently charging, you can see my charge status is going up in green and I'm looking at the middle and about starting from the top where it says River Pro, you can see that in about four hours and 47 minutes at this rate, charging at 62 watts on the, where it says input 62 watts, I'm at 71%. This power station will be charged just under five hours which is pretty amazing i mean considering i've only plugged in a 100 watt solar panel and this power station's got some juice i mean this thing holds if i remember correctly it holds uh 722 watt hours of power which is a decent amount of power as you can see i can switch from output to input and here i clicked on input where it says 62 watts and you can see that the solar input is 62 watts currently what i love this app with these power stations that is, is that it shows you it doesn't give you an idea it, show, it shows you live stats of solar input ac input or the extra battery if you have if you purchased an additional battery with the echo flow power station it even shows you the uh, live output as well if you're charging a device whether it's a cell phone or a tablet or a scooter or you trying to you know you have a rice cooker or, or whatever you have plugged in up to like 1200 watts or i believe 1800 watts but anyways and as you, so as we're talking you, you can see that my battery percentage just moved up from 71 percent to 72 percent just while recording this video so i'm getting a consistent 62 watts of power from a 100 watt solar panel but honestly looking online i've seen the solar panel do much better i've seen it exceed 100 watts of power so and right now so i just wanted to show you guys the life stats instead of you know 
sitting outside in this hot sun and by the way it's like 92 degrees today which is kind of ridiculous it's hot it's hot and humid at the same time where i where i live so but also i was going to record the screen on a power station but it was it was kind of useless because the glare and whatnot because the power station is kind of like facing the sun so you can barely see the screen but here on my smartphone you can clearly see getting that i'm getting a stable 62 watts to be honest i was hoping to get more but it's it's, it's kind of getting late right now it's actually 6 40 in the evening and as you can see so i believe i would have gotten much better solar input test you know test wise i should i should have got i should be getting even more wattage if it was about maybe if it was, if it was about one or two or three p.m earlier in the day because now we're heading towards the evening so anyways i just want to show you guys the solar input okay guys so those solar test results that was that was from two days ago so now i have tested this hover freight 100 watt folding solar panel for a second day today i had we had a much more sunny day and barely any clouds so start i started at close pretty much eight in the morning at on the top left you can see that at 7 56 a.m i was getting 52 watts at 8.25 a.m. I got 63 watts. At 8.43 a.m. I got 67 watts. At 8.52 a.m. I went up to 70 watts. And at 9.05 a.m. I got up to 72 watts. And finally at 9.39 a.m. I got up to 80 watts. Now the highest that I seen the solar panel go up to so far is at 81 watts. But then it went down to 80 watts and it stayed. And I was getting a consistent 80 watts out of this 100 watt folding solar uh, briefcase from Harbor Freight. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So this is it for today folks. After all, I think this is a great portable solar panel for the price and I hope that you enjoyed the this video. So if you found any benefits here then please hit that like button and if you are new around here and then click on that subscribe button and the bell icon to stay up to date whenever I drop a similar video like this one. And if you are and if you have any questions or comments make sure to drop me a line below and I'll get back to you soon. I will also leave the links to the products I have shown you here in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take care.